After download of the VNWA installer from the SDR kit homepage and a successful fresh installation, we must perform a first time start of the VNWA software. It is important to understand that inside the VNWA hardware, pending what version you have, exist one or two audio codecs which must be configured using the Windows control panel. However, the VNWA software will guide you directly to the control panel and open it at the point in time when needed. In any case, connect the USB cable to the VNWA hardware and plug the cable into a PC USB connection and use always the same USB connection from now on. When the USB cable is plugged into the PC, the audio codec drivers are found and enabled. Wait until the drivers has been installed. It may take a short while. Nothing must be connected to the TX and RX port of the VNWA when the VNWA software automatic calibrate the audio codecs, so check that before you start the VNA software. Finally, after proper preparation, we are in the condition to start the VNWA software for the first time by a click on the VNWA icon on the desktop. At first, a page with hints about the use of the VNWA software is shown. Please read it carefully. Also make note about the reference to the help section. Proceed with a click on the OK button. A prompt appears with information about the missing any files and a question whether we want to run the auto setup. Click OK to continue. Next follows a notification that auto detect and auto setup of audio devices is starting. Make sure nothing is connected to the VNA RF ports is shown again. The green pointer shows that we have to click on OK to see the next prompt. This prompt indicates that sound devices has wrong settings and that is related to the internal sound codex of the VNWA, in this case called Microphone and Microphone 2. The green pointer indicates you have to click on OK to proceed. By all means, do not click on OK at this time. Instead, wait for the coding manager to open, as we have to set the audio codex to 48,000 Hz and stereo. It is very important you do not click on any of the two OK buttons, but instead of double click the audio device at the green pointer. That leads to the microphone properties and click on advanced tab. In the drop down list, choose two channels 16 bit. 48,000 Hz DVD quality, followed by a click on the OK button. In the next window, click on Apply and then OK. Now double click on the second USB audio codec microphone. In the microphone property window, click on Advanced. In the drop down list, choose two channels 16 bit 48,000 Hz DVD quality and click on OK. Click on Apply and subsequently OK. That concludes the settings of the VNWA codex and you may click on OK. Finally, it's time to click on the OK button, so please do so. A prompt is indicating that auto detect and audio setup was successful and the next phase is to calibrate sample rate, so initiate that process by a click on OK. A scene sample rate calibration is in progress. A prompt indicates that the automatic setup and calibration successfully finished and now is perform a check of the audio performance. A test is initiated by a click on the OK button. From VNWA version 36.7.0 the IF bandwidth has been changed to 12 kHz from 1.2 kHz and thus the uh, curves are no longer sinusoidal. By a subsequent click on the audio settings tab, the uh, audio testing is still running and can be stopped by a click on the button stop audio. 
you may now study the details of the audio settings. The change to 12 kHz IF frequency made from VNA version 36.7.0 is done by changing the sample IF period from 10 to 1 and the pre-sample per sample from 3 to 2. Everything is now completed and you may close the setup page by a click where the green pointer is positioned. Now the VNWA workspace is visible. It is in a reduced size and it might be scaled to full scale by a click where the pointer is positioned. This is the full screen mode and before we carry on with some basic workspace settings a small problem which might arise will be described. If you by any chance during the first time start of the VNWA software should meet this prompt saying wrong or missing license code, there is an explanation to it. If you have used the option after the colon in the license key, add it within quotation marks, a further description like in my case Kurt Paulsen OC7OU, then this error pops up. Just ignore it and press the button rescan USB bus. If the auto setup audio devices fails for you, don't worry, you can easily do it all over again quite simply by clicking on options, then set up and a click on audio settings and further click on auto setup audio devices and the process starts all over again. The VNWA software is now ready for use and some few settings are important to perform to better use and understand the VNWA workspace. These are the default settings as span from 1 to 60 MHz and only two traces selected S11 Smith and S21 in decibel notation. You may change to full screen by clicking as the green arrows indicate. On most computers it is hard to see the grid lines and the Smith chart, so we have to do some specific settings to uh, get these lines uh, clearly visible. With the mouse, right click somewhere in the center of the window and select Grid Options. Click on the XMIC Grid Color Selection field. Choose a color here, light gray selected. Select the Smith Grid tab. Click on the Impedance Grid Color Selection fields and choose, if you like, a different color, else it will be the same. As seen, light gray chosen as no different color selected. By closing the grid options, the XY grids and the Smith chart is clearly visible now. To enable some more traces, we right click in the center of the window and choose Trace Options. Tick mark the trace sample boxes 3 to 6. As seen, now all 6 traces is enabled and you may choose color for the trace. You might choose what type of measurements made, for an example trace 3 is standing wave radio VSWR and chosen to be S11. When required settings is made the display settings window may be closed. Now all six traces are available from the VNWA window. Any further details about the setting of the VNWA software is referred to the help file. Click on help and select configure help. Microsoft WinHelp32 does not work with Windows 8 and Windows 3 so the alternative viewer has to be chosen. When alternative viewer selected click on download and close the window. Now select help and choose help. Click on the various functions VNA summary index and back and learn how to use the 
wonderful help file. It may be in full screen configuration or it may be in scaled version. When used then close it. The alternative help file viewer has the limitation that it is not possible to perform a search function with it. This is due to the fact that WinHelp32 does not work on Windows 8 or Windows 10, but quite not so. Microsoft offers a patch for Windows 8 and Windows 8.1 with the following link. There is no official patch for Windows 10, but an unofficial one exists on the following link. Further video presentations will be made. For an example, first time calibration will be demonstrated. From VNWA version 36.7.0 and onwards, the calibration kit files is part of the installation.